welcome to Cat Sarah Yoga. I'm Kat and thank you for joining me for day four of Love, a 14 day yoga journey designed to balance your heart chakra, release dead emotions, fill you with self love and get you beaming with love all around. Enjoy the class. We're going to start in child pose today. So coming gently onto hands and knees, from the tops of your feet to the mat, take a nice inhalation. And as you exhale, round your spine, sink your bottom down towards your heels, belly towards the thighs, forehead towards the mat. And don't worry if your bottom doesn't touch the heels or your forehead doesn't touch the mat. You can always cradle your head in your arms. You can place a cushion between your bottom and your feet or even underneath the tops of the feet if they feel tight. Just imagine working your tailbone down towards your heels and allow your breath to flow into the back of your body. Feel as though you're breathing deeply into your lower back, your mid back, your upper back. Relaxing your face and jaw, lips, teeth and tongue. Another nice deep breath here. You could even sigh it out. <sighs> Relax and melt into the mat. Stretching your arms out in front of you as far as they will go, spreading out your fingers and just for a moment, turning your palms to face upward. Feeling an external spiral of rotation happening in the upper arms and the shoulders. And then turning your palms to face down again, grounding your hands into the earth. Inhale, come up to hands and knees. Curl your toes under and really pressing your hands into the earth. Exhale as you press your bottom up and back towards the line between the ceiling and the wall. Really ground your hands down. Inhale, slowly to hands and knees. Bring tops of the feet to the mat and exhale. Sink your bottom down towards the heels into child pose. Spread out fingers, creases between the wrists and hands parallel with the front of the mat. Inhale, hands and knees. Curl your toes under. Exhale, pressing your bottom up and back, aiming to be a straight line from hands to tailbone. So if you're rounding your spine, bend your knees a bit more and really work to press your tailbone up and back. It's okay to have your knees quite bent or your heels lifted, that's all fine. The spine being nice and long and straight and the back flat is the important thing in downward dog. So inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, child pose. And again, flowing up. Inhale, hands and knees. Curl your toes under and exhale, downward dog. Listen to your body. You might want to just stay with this movement in time with the breath. Or maybe you'd like to stay up in downward dog for a little bit and paddle the feet, dropping alternate heels down. And you get some changing stretches in the backs of the legs. And on your inhalation, slowly coming back down to hands and knees. Exhale, really round your spine, come down to child pose. Inhale back to hands and knees and exhale, step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. And we want to press the hips forward here. So you want to make sure that your right knee is not overshooting the ankle. So press your hips forward and if your knee comes past your ankle, scoot your ankle forward as well. So knee directly over ankle. If your wrists feel tender, you might like to make fists. Um, if you do feel like you're a bit compressed forward, if you've got quite tight hips, it can be a bit tricky to reach the floor here. You can use some kind of support, like a thick book or a block or even a rolled up towel. And if your wrists are tender, it's actually quite useful to curl your fingers around the edge of maybe a towel or a block, because um, that helps to keep a bit of pressure off the wrists here as well. So from here in our wide lunge, we're going to circle the hips. So the face and jaw is relaxed, have a sense of your heart, being lifted as you circle the hips and sigh tension away. Good. 
Keep grounding into the top of the back foot. So let's circle the other way. Be aware of all the changing stretches that you feel and let your breath flow naturally. And a lot of our emotional tension gets stored in the hips. So kind of negative emotions that we carry with us because of things that have happened can get stored in the hips. So when we work the hips, it can help to release that emotion and it can make you feel quite emotional. It's really normal to cry during yoga practice or afterwards. If that happens, just let it happen. Find somewhere where you can let that emotion go because this is one of the points of yoga to help to release tension and negative emotions that are stored in the body so that you can feel free, relaxed, happy. So we'll make that the last one. And we're going to use the strength of the back to so really ground through your foot to come up onto fingertips. You might want to remove your support there. Then ground your hands down and exhale as you pull your hips back, rounding over your knee, straightening the front leg as much as you can, but don't worry if you can't get it straight. So a nice hamstring stretch, just breathe into that stretch that you feel. It can be a strong one here. You can imagine breathing out any physical tension. Sigh out through your mouth. Breathe out any emotional tension too. Sigh it away. One more breath. And inhale coming forward again. Stacking the knee over the ankle. Bring your forearm gently to your thigh and ease yourself up in a really relaxed way, reaching your left arm up. So really reach and extend that arm up, breathing into your side body, pressing your hips forward and slightly reaching up and over. So the left hand reaches up and over slightly to the right. Breathe. And then bringing your fingertips onto your shoulder, reaching your elbow up. And reaching the elbow up as high as you can. Really deep side front body stretch. Inhale here. And exhale as you circle your elbow down. Inhale, twisting back, not letting your front knee twist with you. So a little external rotation in that right thigh. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale back and up. Nice big circle. Exhale down. One more in this direction. And then the other way. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. Getting that nice little twist in the spine. Twisting away from the front knee. Not letting it twist with you. Last one. Really good. Really opening the shoulders, opening the heart space. Ground your hands down to the inside edge of your foot and come back to your hands and knees. Take a nice inhalation here. Curl your toes under and exhale, bottom up and back into downward facing dog. Flow with the breath. Inhale, hands and knees, tops of the feet to the mat. Exhale down to child pose. Inhale, hands and knees, curl the toes under, exhale, downward dog, pressing up and back, grounding the hands into the earth. Inhale, hands and knees with control, exhale, child pose. Inhale, hands and knees. And exhale, step your left foot to the outside edge of the left hand, nice wide lunge, pressing the hips forward, making sure you're comfortable, so maybe coming up onto fists maybe curling your fingers around a block and circling the hips face and jaw relaxed no tension in the neck so keeping the shoulders away from the ears not craning your neck up in any way you can sort of gaze down gently at the floor maybe even let your eyes fall out of focus as you focus on the sensations around the hips. Really good, let's go the other way. 
Nice deep breaths, relax face and jaw. Finding fluidity in the hips. If they feel tight, this might not feel like a very fluid circle. Mine doesn't today. It will come with time and practice. Maybe towards the end of these circles, you're already feeling a little bit more fluidity, a little bit more openness through the hips. So don't worry if not, you can come back and practice more. Come back and do this video again. Tension melts away. Last round. Good. And coming up onto fingertips, moving the support really strong in the back so you're not crushing into your fingertips there. Ground your hands down and on your exhalation, draw your hips back, rounding over the knee and breathing here. Keep drawing that left hip back. Enjoying this lovely hamstring stretch, it's very deep. Really good, bringing your weight forward, stacking the knee over the ankle, bring your forearm gently to your thigh, ease yourself up gently into this lovely lunge, reaching up with your right arm, extending that side body, breathe into the side ribs, increasing lung capacity. Nurturing the area of the heart, pressing the hips forward, still melting away tension from the hip area and bringing your fingertips to your shoulder, reaching your elbow up. Breathe deeply into the heart space. Breathe deeply into your side ribs. Inhale here. And exhale as you circle your top arm down. Inhale back and up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, back and up. Twisting away from your knee, a little external spiral rotation at the thigh so that knee doesn't twist in with you. Opening out through the hips and the other way. Everything is connected. So even though we're working a lot on the heart area in this series, the hips are connected too. So the hips need to be open and release tension from that area too. Grounding your hands down and coming to hands and knees. Inhale here. And exhale, rounding into round cap, releasing down to child pose and rest. Nice deep breaths. Nice deep breaths into the lower back. Grounding your hands shoulder width apart, inhale, come up to hands and knees. Curl your toes under and exhale into downward facing dog. Have a paddle for the feet. And maybe enjoy a moment's stillness here, really grounding the hands into the earth. Imagine that you could shine your elbows forward and that helps to bring the upper arms into an external spiral of rotation. Creating more open stretch around the shoulders and releasing any feelings of tension that you might get in the shoulders in this pose. So imagine the upper arms rolling away from the ears, external spiral of rotation. You can stay here or for a bit more challenge. Stretching your right leg up towards the sky, one-legged dog. And then bending your right knee, bringing the right foot towards the left buttock and opening the hips out to the right. Nice open stretch across the hips, helping to release any stored tension in the hips where we can tend to store our emotional tension. We are releasing that now. Reaching your leg back up and on your exhalation, step your right foot in between the hands. You can either lower your back knee or you can challenge yourself to keep the back knee lifted. Just make sure that your right knee is over the right ankle directly. Draw your tummy in towards your spine and inhale as you reach up into your high lunge. 
dropping your shoulders down your back and away from your ears, pressing out through your back heel. Inhale here and exhale as you bring your arms behind you, either catching hold of opposite elbow behind you or bringing palms to touch behind you to lift the heart. Feel open across the chest. You can slightly lift your chin to feel space around the throat, but not flopping your head back at all. Really good. Release your hands, ground your hands down. And stepping back into plank pose, so we're really long and lengthened, tummy drawn and pelvic floor lifted, pushing the floor away so you're not sagging through the lower back. You can stay like this or you may like to lower your knees for a little bit more ease, and I'm going to do that today. When we're inhaling here, exhaling in one long piece, lower yourself down to the floor, keeping your elbows in. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat and inhale as you use your back muscles, so not the hands, not the hands pushing. The back muscles lift the chest, the lowest rib stays on the floor, baby cobra. Ground down through the tops of the feet, especially the outside edges of the feet, so the baby toe side. On your exhalation, lowering back down, curl the toes under, push the floor away, coming back to hands and knees. Toes are curled under, exhaling down the dog. Well done, have a little paddle out for the feet. And coming back to your downward dog in stillness. Maybe staying here. Maybe stretching your left leg up. One legged dog. Float the toes. Bend the left knee, bringing left foot towards the right buttock, opening the hips to the left. Breathe away, let's sigh out through the mouth to breathe away tension from the hip. <sighs> let's breathe away emotional tension we have stored in our body. Let's get it out to be absorbed peacefully by the atmosphere, <sighs> leaving us free. Reaching the leg up and exhale as you step your foot forward in between your hands. You can lower your back knee or challenge yourself to keep the back knee lifted. Suck your tummy and lift your pelvic floor, coming all the way up into your low lunge. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Fingertips are buzzing with energy, pressing out through the heel. Inhale here and exhale as you reach your hands behind you, either catching hold of opposite elbow or bringing palms to touch behind you. Lifting your heart, just that little bit more. Feeling length in the back of your neck, lifting your chin to expose your throat, rolling your shoulders back. Even imagining gently squeezing your shoulder blades down towards a V shape at the base of your spine. Your heart beaming love. Your heart receiving love. Inhale and then on your next exhalation, grounding your hands down, stepping back to downward dog. Paddling out through your feet and slowly inhaling hands and knees. Exhale, child pose. Melt and relax everything. Nice big sigh out. You might even like to bring your arms around by your sides, palms face up. And just soften, melt and relax everything here. Really soft, really good. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, draw your tummy in and slowly roll up to sitting. Come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. Bring palms to touch in front of your heart. Take a few breaths. Shoulders relax away from your ears. Turn the corners of your mouth up in a little smile. Feel your heart fill with gratitude to yourself. For being here again today, taking care of yourself and balancing your heart so that you can be more loving to yourself and others around you too. Press the thumbs into the heart centre and just really feel that sense of heart. A couple of nice deep breaths.
and then placing the thumbs on the third eye point in the center of the forehead. As you bow your head, feel a gentle stretch in the back of your neck, lower back stays long. Nice breath there. And then hands in front of the heart again. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.